can't read any of this. Ooh, note. Yeah, so that's that's basically talking about a uh, kind of a puzzle-ish thing later. There's a there's some uh, fungi and a vaccine that we need to get to uh, to make sure that we don't die to the spores, basically. Yeah, so... Yeah... So that's really important too. Like basically everything in those jars are, are really important to the story. Um, but basically, so the, so the note was just saying that you can inject yourself with vaccinated blood. Oh man. Might as well. I mean, why not? These dudes are dead. Yeah, but just being in here makes you slowly go insane. That's what the music is doing. So, that's what it's indicating, anyway. I'm gonna try and stay out of there. Yeah, There's this dead guy over here. And so, uh, this... I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Shut up, Alexander. So yeah, so th this dude's actually got the uh, the vaccinated blood, uh, so we just need to get an injection of his blood, and uh, we would be immune to the poisonous fungi. So. Yay! <laughs> oh, there's some flowers though. I mean, that's pretty. That's nice. What a lovely room of death. You know. Just a little bit, of, a little bit of flowers here and there, and so yeah, I'm trying to remember how this works. I know you need the hollow needle, um, but yeah, there's this something else you need, and uh, I couldn't remember where the item was. Oh, that's the first thing you gotta do. Yeah, <laughs> drill a hole in that dude's head. Yeah, drill breaks. That's fine. Um, yeah, no, this you need to use you need to use something else. I'll figure it out here in a minute. But uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have had a nice weekend and uh, or week. I don't want to date this too much, because <laughs> I'm going to chop this up into parts, but uh, yeah, hope everything's been, been going well for everybody. i uh, not sure uh, what else to say, I've been thinking, oh, uh, on uh, recently, just like over this weekend, I bought Rogue Legacy, I'm thinking I might do like a, a one-off of that, that might be fun, um, maybe even start a new game, uh, you know, cop copy my old one to a safe place somewhere, uh, and start a new save file. And uh, just show you guys what, what the game's about. It's really fun. Um, I don't know if anybody watching this has uh, seen or, or played it, but it's really good. Ah. What? What happened? Why are all these dead? Where am I? What's happening? Help! Anybody! Help! Yeah, it sucks to be him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's this. Scratchings on the wall. That copper tube I just picked up is what I needed, by the way. Three days now. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't someone come to this room? Hey! Anybody! Am I all alone here? Help! Help! I'm so tired. If I sleep. Wait for this nightmare. If not, I pray my heavenly father will take me in my sleep. Yeah. So that's nice. <laughs> just just lovely. This dude's still bleeding. Look at that. Yeah, she's supposed to do that, and that makes a syringe somehow. <laughs> You stick that in his head, then you stick yourself with the bloody end, or with the sharp end. There you go. And we got our, our injection of vaccinated blood. We're good. Until Chuckles shows up. Hey, buddy. 
Yeah, so if he comes in here, we're boned. Um, so we just kind of got to hang out and slowly go insane with the dead dudes. Yeah, so as you can see, my health has actually improved. <laughs> it was worse. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Doing great here. Just doing fantastic. Waiting it out. Just laming it out. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Go away. Uh... But yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I might bring uh, Liz back for some future parts. If anyone has any feelings on that one way or the other, uh, just you can leave them in the comments. That'd be perfectly acceptable. I reply to pretty much all my comments because I get like what three. <laughs> so, oh yeah, oh my sanity is is not good. I think he's gone. <laughs> Only one way to find out though. So now we can get out of here. It's all good. Just keep going. Pretend like nothing happened. The purpose of the Inner Sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Of course. Daniel is completely innocent in all this. So yeah, so now, my, now I'm losing my crap here. We go to the cistern. The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. So lots of water here. Um, plenty of places for a water monster. That's lovely. Oh. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking. Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. Yeah. Like water mills. That's, that's cute, Daniel. You just keep telling yourself that. Yeah, so there's there's a big box over there to the left. Oh yeah, my sanity still stuck. So yeah, that that box right there, and uh, there's there's whimpering coming from inside of it, and you you can't do anything with it. Hush, Daniel. Stop talking to yourself. Uh, but yeah, we we're gonna have to fill that box up with water. Um, oh, stupid water monster. And you'll see. Seventh of August, eighteen thirty-nine. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Alright. Well, that'd be great. We could do that. Redirect sewer water. Okay. So there's three valves down here that we have to turn. This is the first one. Of course. All the lights go out. That's, that's nice. Um. Uh, yeah. Sanity still sucks. Yep. So we kind of already figured that out. Um, so yeah, so this box over here. 
There's nothing you can do about it. Yep, that's all it'll, that's all it'll tell you. And the more valves you turn, like, the worse the noises inside get. So it's obvious that, you, that you're drowning someone by doing what you're doing, but you don't have a choice. You have to in order to move on to the game. And the game doesn't, the game itself doesn't really seem to make a big deal out of it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Try and stay out of the water if you can. So my thought was, you know, if there's fish in the water, and there are, uh, here and there, if you're seeing fish, and you're probably not going to see too many water monsters, right? So I grabbed this rock real quick. So I'm like, hey, you know, I think I might need this rock. Because I've played this game before. <laughs> uh, shut up, Daniel. Stop talking to yourself. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> the game doesn't really seem to... To make a big deal out of it, it's it's really weird. Um, yeah, careful. So, here's the second vow. First to page. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Just your imagination, Daniel. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's two. So the, the purpose of this, uh, I know you're, you might be wondering, because I didn't show it, but back in the central chamber, uh, there's, a, there's a lower level, and uh, in that lower level there's some water, and the water uh, has to be uh, basically lowered. Uh... Oh! Water monster! That's fun! Hey, buddy! So you got to go back in the water here now. Don't have a choice. Hey, fishy, protect me. Nothing. Just testing the waters, as it were. Pun intended. <laughs> and so I think this leads back to where I started. Yep, sure does. Turn around, Steven. There you go. <laughs> um. Yeah. You gotta run all the way over here. Hey, fishy. You're not supposed to get hit by the steam. I'm super good at that. Ow! Freaking A. You can turn this valve and, uh... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know. Go back. There you go. Yes, yeah, so you gotta turn this valve and, uh... It'll turn the steam off. Yes, I, I do occasionally talk to myself. Yep. It's off. Uh... Yeah, but there, there's a basement level, and you gotta lower the water there so you can get through. Yeah, 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 we hear you, water monster. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Daniel. It's all for the greater good. 
more for the greater good. There we go. We got some sanity back finally. And I'm just pretty much bolting. Make, make a run for it, Daniel. Just go. Yep, I hear you, water monster. We just gotta go. Gotta go back. Gotta get out. Oh, jeez. Well, not this way, though. Yeah, water monster. Really is there now, this time. They ain't playing around. So, yeah, you gotta get across this way now. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I was talking to myself. The blue light blinded him as it had done inside that murky tomb in Algeria. It was just as enchanting, and he tried to approach it, but the Baron's firm hand held him back.